Hey y'all, it's your girl Nelly D. If you are struggling to find your voice, if you have doubt, if you are not even aware of how powerful your voice is, this video is most definitely for you. Oftentimes, I feel that we the people self-sabotage ourselves more than we really account for. And it's because we don't think that we can be greater than who we are currently. It's crazy, isn't it? Everybody starts off somewhere that would be frowned upon, judged, not really viewed as a starting point for a story. We the people tell ourselves that those that we look up to got to start from somewhere big, no trials, no tribulations, no hard lessons. And that's not the case at all. That's never the case. If I'm not mistaken, the greats knew they were great before people knew that they were great, before people saw that they were great. And yet here we are trying to do the same thing and yet we're letting, what, opinions stop us? That voice in your head that's telling you that you're not meant for greater, you're not meant to do more? Talking to myself, yikes. I wrote a sticky note today. You are not the only one going through those ups and downs. You have a story to share. Lives will be changed because you spoke up. And this is a daily reminder for myself, not just because I wanna speak and talk about it, but because I have to live through it as I'm speaking and talking about it. You know that one quote, speak now or forever hold your peace. The more I think about it, the more I realize I don't think there is any peace if you do hold it. The more I think about it, the more I realize if you don't speak now, you will not be holding any peace. You will be holding resentment. You will be holding regret. All because you didn't want to speak up and say what needed to be said. There are people that need your voice and you're not doing anything about it. You're kind of selfish when you really think about it. I want better for you. Overall, the point of this video is to remind people that your voice really does matter. Be who you are unapologetically. You are allowed to speak up and speak your truth. You are allowed to tell your tour you are allowed to tell your stories and tell your truths why else would you be going through the things that you're going through oh please don't tell me just to live life and just kind of flow through it because i'm not doing that and i know what you're thinking well there's people that's watching me they don't care i'm gonna go ahead and free you right now they don't care these are things that we know we just don't acknowledge it right off the bat somebody has to tell you so i'll be the one to tell you those people don't care the people that you're worrying about watching you they don't care and i'm sitting here thinking to myself because you know i like to think and i'm thinking and i'm thinking why am i not following that same rule that i'm saying in the video this is me holding myself accountable you know how we do we're gonna be like nike and just do it which reminds me there's like a whole assassin's gameplay that i stopped because i was gonna start another game and then i told myself i'm not gonna be one of those gamers that starts a game stops the game starts a new game i'm really gonna finish this game because i actually like assassin's creed avor is my girl we have a bond like this man just create do not tell yourself that you don't have a story to tell you have a story to tell okay <coughs> You have a story to tell, okay? Your voice matters. Speak up and be loud and be heard. There are people that need to hear something from you, specifically from you. How did you get through college? How did you get through being a mother? How did you get through having twins? How did you get through that divorce? How did you get through losing your parents? How did you get through life being adopted? So many stories that people can be encouraged from. And I tell myself all the time that I really need to start doing videos like this because I know that it's gonna do something for somebody. But then I get sleepy, fall asleep in the car. Don't ask me why I did that. I just did it, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But falling asleep in the car instead of making a video and then waking up realizing you got plenty of time, still do the daggum video and stop playing. Stop playing. It's not a game. It's not a game at all. Life technically kind of is a game when you think about it. There's levels to it. And if you're not past level one, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Every day, I'm going to try to be like Nike and just do it. What about you?